Hi, I'm Julie and here at Spellbound we have lots of these marvellous pressed glass beads with beautiful detail on that would make amazing bracelets. Unfortunately the holes in these beads are really quite small as you can see there so they won't fit onto a thong or one of these lovely suede laces to make an easy simple bracelet design. So what I've come up with is a little system of seed beads to make two little connectors so that you can add one or multiple of these beads to a piece of this suede lace and make a wonderful bracelet. Now the beads can inch along so you can position them where you want to have multiples or you can join the multiples together to make set designs. Now I'm going to show you how to make a single bracelet like that but I've also made double bracelets so in this case the thong goes around twice and it's got two flowers on or this one the thong goes around twice and has just got one bead and one fastener. And obviously you could make it go around lots of times and you can have lots of individual beads all along your thong. Now the thong comes in loads of amazing colours. The beads come in an almost limitless supply of colours, textures and shapes. And you're going to need some findings. I've used a couple of box lace ends and a popper fastener. And the seed beads we're using are these size 15, which are quite small. So you need a small beading needle too. I've been using a size 12 beading needle and a beading thread of approximately size D. So I've been using Nymo D, but Superlon will work equally well. I hope you'll give it a go. I've chosen my materials for my first bracelet. Primarily, I've gone for a flat flower bead that's got a relatively small hole, too, hot, too small certainly, for this lovely suede effect thong that I'm going to use for the main part of the bracelet. Now to make the connection between the flower and the thong I'm going to use some size 15 seed beads. These are a silver plated shiny um, size 15 seed bead but they're available in hundreds of colours so you can match in with the thong if you want to. And I'm going to add a clasp at the end. So I've got two lace ends. These are box lace ends which are ideal for using with the flat lace. I've got two jump rings to attach a clasp and the clasp I'm using is one of these popper clasps which again is perfect for a bracelet. It lies flat and you can do it up easily with one hand. Now I've prepared a size 12 needle. That's quite a fine needle with about 75 centimeters of beading thread and I'm using a Nymo D but any sort of similar beading thread will do. And I'm going to put a keeper bead about 10 centimeters from the end. Now a keeper bead is a bead tied on a simple knot so you can just see straight through the loop with the tail and the bead is trapped on the loop. Now that bead will easily pull off when I've finished so I can secure the thread end. Right, I'm going to pass through the main bead first and then I'm going to put on 12 small seed beads. Now I happen to be using 15s but you can use slightly larger beads if you want to. You'll just end up with a slightly bigger chunkier loop which might work if you're using a chunkier bead as your main feature. Let me just check this as 4, 8, 12. There we go. Now I've put on 12 beads but I'm going to go back through the first bead and back through the primary bead. Now I need to be really careful not to catch the knot on the keeper bead. So by doing that I've pulled up an actual loop of 11 beads with the 12th bead 
bringing everything together. I'm going to do the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now I've worked out that 12 seed beads made into a loop using this pattern of going back through one is just right for this thong. But it might be that if your thong is slightly different diameter using slightly different size beads you need to alter your bead count. Right, I'm going back through the first bead again and the main bead. And so again, I've made a loop of 12 seed beads with one, the 12th one, well, it's the first one and the 12th one, being the anchor for the other 11. Right, now that's the basic shape. I do, however, need to reinforce it. So I'm gonna go through all the beads again. Now, if I was doing this for myself to wear or for a gift or to sell I would actually want to reinforce two times but I'm just going to do it the once for quickness so you can see what I'm doing so I've gone all the way through those back through the first one again back through the main bead and now I can go around seed beads on the second side again there we go right so as I say if I was doing this for a gift or perhaps to sell I would go around again just to do it so we've got three things of thread through everything but for now just two will do to demonstrate the technique I'm now going to take off the keeper bead and to do that you just put the needle through the spare bead and pull it off. There we go, you use that again. And because my needle thread has finished adjacent to my keeper bead thread, I can now just tie the two together. So if you do your third repeat of the reinforcement, make sure that your needle finishes exactly alongside the keeper bead sink. Do this simple finish whereby you just tie them together in simple overhand knot. Now you can do two knots or three knots, minimum of two, three is belt and braces really and that's nice and firm. Now before I trim off I'm going to pass the ends of the thread through the main bead. So that's one through. So you never cut right against a knot because the knot will just come undone immediately. So you need to hide the ends or move the ends away from the knot. Now I've taken that one that way. I'm going to see if I can take this end up through these beads a bit because that will make it even more firm. So I can take it around the loop. Now doing it this way depends on if you've done three reinforcements and exactly how big the holes are in the beads. If you can't take it back around the loop again, just straight through the main bead will do. There we go. Now I can trim off both ends. One end trimmed, two ends trimmed. And that's it. Those two little loops will now allow me to attach to the thong. You can obviously do multi multiples of these and have several on a length. But I'm just gonna show you how to do one for now. And this is the end of my thong. So to help me get it through those two loops, I'm going to cut the end to a point. And then we go down through the loop on one side. Up through the loop on the other. Make 
sure the thong is flat against the back. I just need to ease the thong through a bit. As you can see, it's quite tight, but we want it to be tight because we want the flower to sh stay where we put it, or the bead to stay where we put it in the middle of our bracelet design. So it's tight, but it still moves. So you just inch it along. Make sure the thong stays nice and flat across the back. And if I do that, I can see that's going to be in the middle of my bracelet. Right, now I need to just put the clasp on. Now, it's going to be the right length for my bracelet. So I'm going to snip that to a point two. And I need to add my lace ends. And I've got a pair of flat pliers. Now the cut end of the thong just lies inside the box lace end. And this has got flat sides that will fold over. And the point on the end allows me to hold it with my thumbnail just where it pokes out towards the loop. And then I can fold the two sides in. I find folding one a little way, then the other, and then the first one all the way, the second one over the top. Seems to work quite well. And the same on this side. So we point it towards the connecting loop. You just hold it with your thumbnail. Start one side, start the other side, and then finish the first side, and finish the second side. So, we've got the two lace ends on, now we just need to add the clasp. Now to add the clasp we need two jump rings. Now the clasp has a front and a back. This is the front where you see the bobble of the popper and that's the back. And because our bracelet also has a front and a back, we need to get this the right way around. So, Twist open the jump ring. That's the front of the clasp uppermost. Let's just check I've got that right. So yep, yeah, front of the clasp, front of the necklet, bracelet. Jump ring. You can see that's right because the thong is flat all the way around, and there's my bracelet. Really straightforward, and obviously, it's something that can be done in multiple so you can make lots of bracelets on lots of different colours of this marvellous thong. I hope you'll give it a go. Thank you for watching.